Hey Fixer family, it's Charmin, and on today's video, I'm going to be doing a fun trash to treasure, something I got at the thrift store. And no, it's not a pumpkin, just a pumpkin on my shirt today. <laughs> so anyway, I am so excited about this wonderful trash to treasure. I'm going to be bringing new life to a lamp that I found. Welcome to Fixin' To. So here is the fun lamp that I got from the thrift store. Um, it's missing a little knob here, but that can definitely be replaced. And it's dirty, got a little bit of rust on it, but we're gonna be painting it anyway. I paid $4 for the lamp. Already had the lamp shade that we're going to recover today. So I am so excited to get started. First thing we're gonna do is just clean it up really good. And just gonna use a couple of different things that I have on hand just to get it good and clean. So let's get started. going to use this glass and surface cleaner. I got this at the Dollar Tree, y'all, and it is, it's wonderful. It really is. It is a good cleaner for stuff like this and for your mirrors. This particular label looks like it's been on here for a minute. I'm gonna get as much of it off as I can. I know that Goo Gone is a really good product as well, but I don't have any on hand. So I'm gonna use some nail polish remover and that should cut through the sticky stuff on these labels pretty well. Now we are ready to paint. And of course, I'm gonna be using my Rust-Oleum American Accent that I love. And this is in the color Satin Blossom White. And so we're going to paint the base and then we're gonna have some fun with the lampshade. Let's get started. So now we're gonna have fun with the lampshade. Now, I tried to spray paint this, didn't work out really well, but did a test spot with my Waverly chalk paint and works wonderful. brush here <laughs> we can see it <laughs> I think I tore it up a little bit <laughs> so we've got this brown craft paper that you can get from the Dollar Tree and uh, we just laid it out and we're going to start on one end and we're going to just take the back side of our lampshade and the front side and as we kind of roll it across the paper we're going to just mark our lines Now that we've got our template cut out, we are actually going to be using some burlap fabric to cover our um, lampshade with. So we're gonna go ahead and use this, just kind of lay it out here and rough cut it. Now 
Once we have the fabric cut, we're going to dry fit it and make sure that we can tuck it at the top and at the bottom. first piece on using a little bit of hot glue and now we're going to just stretch our fabric and then pull it up and do the next set and so on and so on because it's easier to do it right here on the little the ribs of the uh, shower curtain I mean shower curtain <laughs> on the um the frame the ribs of the frame of the lampshade so you see how i'm kind of going from the underneath and be careful because the burlap is porous of course and this hot glue will come through on your hands so be very careful um, as you see I've got hot glue on my hand but that is okay it's making sure that it adheres really nicely Once we get it to this point, we're ready to overlap it and we're going to cut off the excess on both sides and create a hem by putting a little dab of the hot glue on the edge and then just folding it over, creating that hem and then of course adhering it to the lampshade. We're going to do the same thing on the other side, just trimming, creating a hem and then overlapping it and gluing it down. Now we are ready to tuck the top and the bottom. We're just gonna put a small bead of glue right on the edge at the top and tuck it over. What we have done is we have completely tucked in the edges, and of course you see the raw edges that we have here all the way around. So now what I'm gonna do, I've kind of trimmed them down. There were some places that were really, really <laughs> short. And uh, I'm wanting to kind of finish it off and ha have a finished look around the bottom here. But first thing I did, as you can see, I took some of my Buffalo Check ribbon and I just tied it around the top part of it and just tied a bow. And I'm gonna take and make some little dovetails here. So cute little dovetails. And so this is finished here. So now what we want to do is we want to kind of do finish, a little bit of a finished edge around this side. So what I've done is I went ahead and I just kind of took my ribbon and, and did it around it. And then I cut that long piece of ribbon in half so that we can um, try to keep it from getting so um, ruffled up and everything. So I'm just going to take a little bit of my hot glue and I'm going to just kind of make a little uh, hem. By folding this over, Oop, got my nail right in it. Just folding it over, making it a little hem right there. And then right here where our seam that we have in the back, fold it over, start it. I'm gonna just kind of tuck it and bring it right to the edge. Can you guys see that? See kind of how I bring it right to the edge? And we're gonna glue that down and just start taking it all the way. And just start taking it all the way around as we finish off the edge. So let's go ahead and put down a little glue. Now you can definitely use a more permanent glue like your um, E6000 or of course the fix-all that is you can get at the Dollar Tree. This 
um, is just like the E6000. They just have them in the small tubes here. So you can use that for a more permanent. I'm just using the hot glue because, so that I can do this good for you guys. So we'll just continue to go all the way around. Same thing that we did is we are going to create a hem with the hot glue and then bring it over and finish it off super clean. Well, Fixer family, I think that it turned out awesome. I love the way that the burlap really worked on this lampshade. It definitely has some give and pull and definitely forms to the shape of this particular lampshade. It's a little awkward in shape. It's not just your regular bell type um, lampshade, but I think that this turned out amazing. I love it. And of course, I had to put that touch of the buffalo check on there because I am loving the buffalo check. Again, this year, I'm so glad that it is still popular. <laughs> and so it was fun and it was so simple just to easily, and. I used hot glue. You can definitely use um, your E6000 or your Fix All from the Dollar Tree, a more permanent glue, um, but and even using a little hot glue with it because you want something that's going to dry pretty quick so that it can, you know, have time to, for the other to dry as well. So that's what I used today, and I think it turned out great. And guys, if this is the first time to my channel, welcome. I'm so glad that you decided to stop by and take a look around. And if you like what you see, make sure that you hit that subscribe button down there and also the notification bell that's right next to it because that will notify you each time I upload video. And I upload videos every Friday. I love to bring you um, tutorials and DIYs for very inexpensive home decor that can show you that you can definitely decorate your home on a budget. Well guys, you have a beautiful and blessed day and always remember to keep looking up because that's where it all is. I'll see you on the next video.